Hiya VC, back again with another Gimme 10, one more Gimme 10 um, from 87. Um, just reveling in the, in the nostalgia of all of this. It's just, just been brilliant, like picking out the records that I haven't played for probably a very, very long time indeed. And um, sort of reminiscing records I still do listen to. So it's just brilliant, this is. So Fred, thanks for starting this off because I'm having a whale of a time with it. I know you're... Um, sort of, I think you're coming to the end of it, but because I only did it through the 80s, it's like I'm still buzzing with it. Um, and I'm thinking maybe I might do 1990 and 1991. Um, checked out 92. That's really when I started buying CDs. So, yeah. So it looks like I might do two more years longer. If Fred doesn't mind, I'm sure he won't do. Anyway, so here we go. Back to 87. So the first one... <clears throat> Aerosmith, Permanent Vacation. This was the big comeback from Aerosmith. They kind of spent the middle of the decade producing these pretty run-of-the-mill albums. Um, Joe Perry had left and rejoined, and he rejoined. And they were sort of in the doldrums. But this, this brought it back. So, on here, you've got things like... This was the first album released after um, Walk This Way with Run DMC came out and um, yeah it's got the dubious dude looks like a lady but it's rocking personally I prefer things like um, Ragdoll and um, what's the other one? Song Permanent Vacation, Half Done Time, um, St. John, Hammond Jury, just good old rocking album, I mean, from a band that was supposed to be way past its prime, to come back with this was a real, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Another massive kind of pop rock album of the year was In Excess's Kick. Um, Hutchins finally broke through and became the massive star he probably should have been anyway. And there's some brilliant songs on here. Guns in the Sky, New Sensation, Devil Inside, Need You Tonight, Mediate, I really like, Love One, Never Tear Us Apart, Kick, Calling All Nations. I mean, it's a good, solid album, this is. Um, there's all the band members on the back. Um, really good. Just a good old album. Another comeback album from a band who hadn't really set the world on fire for a bit was White Snakes, 1987. Um, yeah, some of it's a bit um, cheesy, but there's enough good rocking tracks and still a night. I mean, it is one of it is the best song that Zeppelin never recorded. It is such a Zeppelin song. I uh, can just imagine Percy Blant singing, roaring all over that. I mean, you've got Bad Boys, which is a bit cheesy. Give Me All Your Love, I like. Um, Crying in the Rain's a bit soft. Um, Children of the Night's good. But it, it's a good album. Um, and it sold a shed load as well. It's a really good album. Um, compilation time up next. Um, this is the only record, vinyl record, that I own by this particular band. But what a compilation it is. It is Dead Kennedy's. And uh, Give Me Convenience or Give Me Death. Um, I suppose I should do something about the rest of the album. Uh, there's always too many things to find. But it's got all the um, real, real big... All the real big songs on here. Ah, 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 right, okay. I was looking for something, I thought I couldn't find it. Um, but there's something else in there. Um, like, Too Drunk to Fuck, California Ruberalis, um, Holiday in Cambodia, I Thought Law and I Won, Typical Kennedys, um, Short Song, Straight A's, Kinky Sex Makes the World Go Round, Buzz Bomb from Pasadena, Night of the Living Rednecks. I mean, it is just fantastic punk. Um, and it came with... A free flexi um, with Buzz.
Buzz Bomb from Pasadena and Night of the Living Rednecks on here. Um, so really pleased I've got that. that. And then it comes with a brilliant, brilliant lyric sheet. It's not just a lyric sheet, it's a little magazine that you get. And it's got all the lyrics in it. And they're typical cut, cut up art. Um, just absolutely fantastic. I mean, what a fantastic package. They've really, you know, tried to make something out of this. I don't know. And what a fantastic label they were on. Um, Alternative Tentacles. What a great art label. So there we go. Um, next up is the soundtrack. One of the best films I saw that year. I think I saw it then. River's Edge. Um, starring Dennis Hopper. Uh, Keanu. Um, I think it must have been post Bill and Ted. I'm not sure about that. Um, Crispin Glover's in it. don't think there's anybody else in it. Um, but the, the film is great and the soundtrack is brilliant. Um, side one is um, just strict thrash. So you've got Hallow's Eve, Slayer with two tracks and Fate's Warning. And then the other side is got three tracks, two more Slayer tracks, an Agent Orange track, a track by The Wipers and a track by Burning Spear just to round it off to completely change the atmosphere. But it's a terrific soundtrack album. Um, just brilliant. And this is an American pressing on Enigma. Um, really don't remember where I got this from. I know I bought it back in the day, but I can't remember. But I played it the other day, and it is fantastic. Um, band that seems to be tagged with uh, another REM also REM was Guadalcanal Diary. Um, they were from. They were just down the road. They were from a place just down the road from Athens, where REM came from. So there must have been something in the water, in Georgia. Um, because this is a great album. There's some really good songs on here. Litany Life Goes On, Winds of Change, Where Angels Fear to Tread. And it's more of that kind of, it is very R.E.M. though. And um, the singer, uh, Murray Attaway, does sound like Michael Stipe a bit. So I can understand it, but this is a really strong album in its own right. So really, really good album. Also got... Um, here, Public Images album from the year, which was uh, Happy. And this has got songs like Seattle and The Body on it. Not as strong as album, but it's still a, a damn fine record. Um, really, really like the, uh, the artwork. I really like that cover. Um, another band not quite reaching the heights of previous records was The Alarm. This is when they went kind of mainstream it was it was a bit disappointing at the time um this is nowhere near as strong as strength or declaration um had their big hit rain in the summertime on it um and it's still like really idealistic optimistic um rock but it's kind of um just gone a bit soft to be honest for me um i mean when i was i was getting into stuff like anthrax and stuff and they found death so, wasn't their greatest record. But One Step Closer to the Home is a great track. I did have a version of that on a tape somewhere. Um, on a, from a, probably a 1983 Kid Jensen session. And it was way better. Um, I don't know why they waited so long to, to record it. Um, things like Presence of Love, Rescue Me. I mean, it's good. But it's way too you 2 wannabe which Super White suffered from as well. Such a shame. Um, Balaam and the Angel. Balaam and the Angel. Never knew how to say that one. Um, this was when there were a lot of goth bands and they suddenly became like metal. So obviously the cult did the same. So did Balaam and the Angel. And this is a real riffing rock album. Um, I'll show you something special. Big City Fun Time Girl. Just some great rocking tracks on that, so that's a great album to have. And then finally, another compilation just to round off. One of my favourite bands from the time is The Mission, and this is the first chapter. This is a round-up of their singles, um, single tracks. So you've got things like um, Serpent's Kiss, um, Garden Delight, they were all in D 
indie singles. They were both indie singles. Um, and then you've got the attendant B side, so things like Naked and Savage, Dancing Barefoot, which is a Patti Smith cover, uh, Like a Hurricane, which is a good Neil Young cover, um, Over the Hills and Far Away. Anyway, um, Crystal Ocean, Garden Delight. I've already mentioned that. Wake is a good song. So, when the before, yeah, just really good compilation. So there we go. My second, my third. Give me ten from eighty-seven. One more to go. Can you can you last that long? Can you bear with me? Hope you can. Right. So cheers, VC. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.